What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV, and here we have the iPhone 7 Plus in rose gold on launch day, and this has been in very, very limited stock. Now, I actually wanted to get this in one of the new black colors, but unfortunately, that just was not possible, and they did not have any stock whatsoever here in the UK. If you are interested to see the black, then I have done the unboxing of the iPhone 7 in black, so definitely do go ahead and check that out. So let's not waste any time and get straight into the box. This time around, we've got an image of the back of the iPhone on the front of the box. Traditionally, we've had the front of the iPhone's image. And inside the box, we are presented with a bundle of paperwork and then the phone itself. Now, even in the rose gold, this does look pretty good, but I definitely would have preferred the black. Now, putting the phone to the side for just a moment, let's have a look at what else we get inside the box. So in the paperwork bundle, we have some of the standard stuff including your SIM card ejector tool, as well as your Apple stickers. Then we have a power brick. This may be different depending on where you're from. A USB to lightning connector. Now what's different in the box this year is that firstly, we have lightning ear pods, and we also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone to lightning converter. Now this is because the new iPhones do not have a headphone jack, but with this converter, you will still be able to use your old headphones. Now let's move over onto the device. We'll get rid of the plastic. And now we can take a closer look at the phone itself. Now, I actually don't mind this rose gold color. The only thing is that although the antenna bands are redesigned, I wish that they had color coded these. So instead of the white, if you also had rose gold antenna lines, then they wouldn't have stood out like they don't on the black version. So up front, we have a 5.5 inch HD display. So it has the same resolution, although it is a little bit brighter compared to last year and also has a wider color gamut. Up top is a sensor, a seven megapixel front facing camera, an earpiece that also doubles up as one of the two speakers that you have on here. And on the bottom side of the front is your home button. This is no longer a physical button. This is gonna give you haptic feedback, although it will work with Touch ID as before. Flipping the device around, you are gonna notice a big change here. And that is this dual camera setup. So we have one standard camera as well as one zoom telephoto camera. And this is gonna allow you to optically zoom into your subjects. And I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out. If you wanna see a camera comparison of this against the Note 7, then do hit that thumbs up button and drop me a comment in the comment section below. As well as the camera, you have a secondary mic as well as a quad LED flash. This is supposed to be 50% brighter compared to last year. It'll be interesting to see how well it works. And also the Apple logo. On the bottom side of the back is the iPhone logo as well as some FCC information. This may not be there depending on which country you're from. Here in the UK, we still have to have this. Up top, there is nothing here. On the right hand side, we have the power button as well as the SIM card tray. On the left hand side are the volume buttons as well as the mute toggle switch. And finally at the bottom, we have a single port. This is the lightning connector. So as you guys already know, there is no more headphone jack. And then we have the speaker grills. Now giving the device a first boot, everything is the same. The only difference is the ability to choose your click for the home button. So you can choose how strong you want that haptic feedback. I'm gonna be leaving it on too. So there we have it, the iPhone 7 Plus, similar design to the iPhone 6 and 6S. With some little tweaks, we also have IP67 water and dust resistance. Now, as mentioned, I wanted to go for the black, but this was the only thing available. And if you're in a similar situation to me, and you wanna customize the look of your iPhone, then definitely check out our sponsor for this episode, which is dbrand. So dbrand have a huge selection of skins on their website and you can use their online customization tool to really make your device look unique. You can select the color of your device, then choose from their many options of skins. And if you wish, you can also decide to have a plain back or reveal the Apple logo. I'll leave a link to dbrand in the description below. So definitely do go ahead and check them out. So now that we've got the iPhone 7 Plus in-house, I'm gonna be doing lots more videos with it, super saf style. And if you wanna see those first, then make sure you have subscribed. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. Remember, if you wanna see the iPhone 7 black version, then that's gonna be linked here in the cards. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.